Ringing in the new year is all about having fun, but we want to make sure that you stay safe, especially when it comes to fireworks and being out and about with your family and friends. It seems like every year a new round of reports trickle in about people being injured by fireworks and celebratory gunfire. You may remember back in 2013 when News for Jacks covered the story of an eight-year-old boy who was ringing in the new year with his family on the South Bank near the Main Street Bridge when he was hit in his foot by a bullet. At a closer glance, his father found that bullet in his son's shoe. The boy was taken to the hospital, thankfully only minor injuries. That same night, a local pilot and his girlfriend were flying their plane near the Matthews Bridge when they heard a loud pop and noticed a bullet hole in the window. The next thing the pilot knew, blood was streaming down his neck. In both of these instances, the victims did survive, but the consequences could have been deadly. And we have done countless stories about fires and injuries from fireworks. That's why we invited Jacksonville Fire and Rescue's Captain Eric Proswimmer into the studio to talk about staying safe during New Year's Eve. Eric, I know that your men and women of the department are so very busy. They don't get any days off. They don't get to celebrate because they're on call for whatever could happen. And usually something does happen. Yeah, unfortunately, it's uh, one of the things that goes with the territory. Um, fireworks are dangerous, you know, plain and simple. They should be left to the professional. Everybody's going to do it. Um, the other thing is on a night like tonight, alcohol's in the mix. Mm -hmm. Alcohol and fireworks don't mix well. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we're going to have calls for burns, cuts, possibly amputated extremities, um, just to name it, fires, mm -hmm. they start fires. Yeah, this is serious stuff. The good news, I will say this year, is we've had a lot of rain leading up to this, so that should make the fire danger lower, but that does not mean that we're out of the water, so to speak. No, you're never out of the water. I mean, the problem with fireworks is they're so unpredictable. You never know where they're gonna end up. You don't know when they're gonna blow up. How fast is the fuse gonna go? All that comes into play, so you can think you're shooting it one way, it'll go another direction, hit a house, hit a car. You don't know what's going to happen from there. You've been with JFRD how many years now? I'm um, coming up on 20 years. 20 years. So mm -hmm. two decades there, and I know that you've done so much. You've seen some bad things. Seen a lot of bad things. A lot of good things, but a lot of bad things. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the people that do still want to do their fireworks at home. Okay. What do they need to do? One, setting them off safely, establishing that perimeter, and two, making sure that they're safely extinguished. Absolutely. So when you say establish the perimeter, you want to be away from structures, you want to be away from vehicles, and you want to be away from people. Um, usually one responsible person should be lighting the fireworks off at a time. Um, take your time. Do one firework at a time. Don't try to do a big mm -hmm. extravagant thing. Um, you want to have a hose ready and a bucket of water ready. Mm -hmm. So if a firework doesn't go off, don't try to relight it. Let it sit for a while, and then once you go to it, put it in a bucket of water and let it soak. Mm. You don't know how long it's going to smolder inside and could possibly do harm. Yeah, seriously, and that's how you get so many of the injuries and the potential of, of losing an extremity. Absolutely. And that does happen. Absolutely. The other thing that most people don't think about are sparklers. You know, sparklers burn at up to 2,000 degrees. And what do you usually do with sparklers? You give them to kids. Mm -hmm. Kids are unpredictable. They're waving them around, mm -hmm. doing all sorts of things, and they'll burn. They'll burn their clothes, they'll burn their face, they'll burn somebody else, and they stay hot for a while after you've used them. So they seem really harmless, but they're not. Mm -hmm. I remember as a child in Miami at my grandparents' house, I got burned by a sparkler. And I never have looked at them the same because the pain was really, really bad. Yeah, it, it really is. All right. Thank you so much, Captain Eric Proswimmer, and all of the men and women of JFRD, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, and all of our local agencies who are going to be working tonight, tomorrow, through the holidays to make sure that you are safe. Alicia.